All right, this is uh, pre-calculus, topic five. We're looking at uh, A6. This is another question off that sheet. And as I look at this, uh, the directions say rewrite as a single cosine statement. This is a linear combination. They both have the same uh, period, and they're added together. So if I peek back here at Keith, uh, Keith is telling me there's my linear combination. So I just have to find A, I have to find D. Remember, I can get A off the Pythagorean theorem and get D off the, the angle that's made in the triangle using uh, inverse, co inverse tangent. So first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle. So I noticed that the coefficient for cosine is negative 3. So in the x direction, I'm going back 3. And then uh, the coefficient with sine is 7. It's positive, so I'm going to go up 7. So there's my angle, and this length right here is my A. So that's the shift, that's the, uh, the amplitude. So I can find A using Pythagorean theorem, because this is a right triangle. So A is the square root of 7 squared plus negative 3 squared. 7 squared is 49, negative 3 squared is 9. And so if I... Add those together, I get 58. And square root of 58, let me see if I could break that down a little bit. 58 divided by 2 is 29. Nope, that's it. So my A value is square root of 58. So I know that um, I'm going to have that. And it's going to be in terms of cosine, some angle minus some, some uh, amount. And to figure out this angle, uh, I'm going to use inverse tangent because I know that um, tangent of D would spit out 7 over negative 3. And my calculator is in degrees right now, so that's okay. I'm just going to use degrees then. So inverse tangent, negative 7 thirds. The, direct, the, 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 <laughs> the directions don't specify if it needs to be in degrees or radians, so I, I can just use either one. So tangent... Um, inverse tangent of negative seven thirds gives me about negative points. No, negative sixty-six point eight zero degrees. And here's what I noticed: negative sixty-six degrees would be this. So inverse tangent only gives me answers in the first and fourth quadrant. So um, notice that would just be like over 3, down 7, it would still be negative 7 thirds. Just there's two possibilities, I have to get the right one. And I notice that this is just a straight line. So what I can do is add 180 to this to get there. So I'm going to add 180 to that. And I get about 113.199 uh, degrees. So 113.199 degrees. Uh, like I said, that's in degrees. If you did it in radians, that is perfectly fine as well. This would be um, this would be that. 